You've seen this intro before, so I'll make it quick. For this list of 40 essential solo games, I've avoided games that are not available on retail, and I've also included games I don't necessarily like, but that I do consider essentials. And today we're looking at numbers 20 to 11. Let's go! Hate Pedal to the Metal has been the revelation of a few months ago, and would probably be the best game of 2023 if it didn't come out in December 2022. The solo mode is also great, and there aren't that many racing games to begin with, so this game really fills a void for solo gamers. For another racing game in a different setting, you might want to try Flamme Rouge and its solo variant by the same designer. Race for the Galaxy is one of the rare victory point games I personally enjoy. It is a tableau building game with a sci-fi theme, and one of the aspects I like about the solo bot is that it plays differently depending on its starting planet. The solo expansion recently came back in print, so it's the right time to give this one a try as a solo gamer. If you like victory points and getting more of them through different strategies, a Feast for Odin might work for you. If you're looking for a recent take on Race for the Galaxy mechanics, Terraforming Mars Aris Expedition might be what you're looking for. Legendary Marvel. This is a multiplayer cooperative game in which you fight some bad guys and their minions. At the core, it's a deck building game with a lot of game in the base box already and lots of expansions to go with it. Alternatives include Alien Encounters, for a very similar gameplay in a very different setting. Actually a game I prefer. Or Marvel Champions. Warp's Edge. This was also one of the big hits for solo gamers in 2021. A boss battler game in which you have to fight a gigantic enemy spaceship. A really nice bag builder, exclusively solo. You might also like Deep Space D6, Under Falling Skies, or Vengeance Roll and Fight. In Burn Cycle, you're playing as a team of robots who have to take down an evil corporation by sneaking into their headquarters and shut down their systems. Burn Cycle is a stealth puzzle at its core, with great production value. If you like Burn Cycle, other games by Cheap Theory such as Too Many Bones or Cloud Spire might be for you. Sherlock Holmes is one of these old games that still holds nowadays. It is a true detective game, in which you have to go over newspapers, ask questions around the city, find the right clues to solve the questions asked at the end of each scenario. If you like the Sherlock Holmes game, you might enjoy the Chronicles of Crimes series, or for a very similar game in a different theme, Arkham Investigator. The Seventh Continent was originally a Kickstarter that now has a retail version. It's a game that took a fresh take on the Choose Your Own Adventure books and plays as a survival sandbox on a map. A given scenario can take up to 10 hours, but you can save your progress at any point. Really a unique adventure game. If you get tired of the Seventh Continent, Sleeping Gods might be a better choice for you as far as sandbox games go. Or if you like the idea of dying brutally on an island, give a try to Robinson Crusoe. Cartographers is a pretty laid-back roll and write in which you have to draw a map with specific constraints to earn more points. It feels a bit like a Tetris puzzle, except you actually have time to think. It is a points game at the end of the day, but really relaxing for solo games. I've mentioned it before, but in my honest opinion, Voyage is a great roll and write. Cascadia is another great game if you're looking for something peaceful to play solo. Hadrian's Wall is another roll and write, which plays great solo. You have to build a wall, make defenses, and attract civilians to your city. Mage Knight is a strategy and adventure game that plays really great solo, in particular since sessions can be very long. You explore a map, build an army, and conquer cities. It combines elements of RPG and deck building, and has been one of the top solo board games for almost a decade. Alright, this is getting exciting. Next we're going to look at the fourth and last installment of the series of essential solo games, with numbers 10 to 1. Stay tuned!